Thank you so much, uh, Owen, uh, Owen Bayer, for that uh, question. The vision for Kenya. We, we do know that we have very serious short-term constraints. But let me say that in terms of the vision, I can pinpoint four areas that we are going to work on. And obviously, those areas are going to give us a very strong economy in the, in the, from the medium term to long term, once we solve the short term constra constraints. And the first one, being brief, is actually that we have to start by protecting private investments. And this is the whole area of human capital development. Our education system, for example, our health system, the health infrastructure has been devoured by COVID-19. We didn't anticipate the, the extent to which our health infrastructure can be tested. We not even beyond even what we have health financing. And the third aspect of that is actually nutrition outcomes. And this is actually, again, food markets and how we can actually grow the human capital development arena. That for us is going to be very important. And it starts from fixing the problems in health, in education, and in food systems, which will improve the nutrition outcome. That's one whole bucket of where we have to do some major issues in the medium term. The second one, which needs to start at the, at the, at the, when everything, even when things are as uh, severe as they are, is, Mr. Chairman, to develop, to regulate, and protect markets. And this, this is where things have gone wrong, gone wrong and I'm sure, Mwesh uh, Mwabaya, you can also come up with so many examples. If markets are not properly governed, then it means that they cannot distribute the economic rent in the marketplace. If we don't develop the markets, then most people are not going to reach the markets. To give you an example, it is markets provide signals, especially for increased production downstream and productivity downstream. That is the bottom of the people who are working there, be it in agriculture, be it in other sector. But what you see upstream is increased incomes. So it, it means that we can actually, in the very short term, try to start fixing markets. And for me, that is a very major issue. Let me tie the second point also. The third point is also tied to what uh, my dear sister uh, asked in terms of, sorry, so uh, my friend asked about the current situation. The third area is actually domestic resource mobilization. We still, we, we have, this is a family of instruments that we can actually optimize the tax instruments, for example. He talked about even criminalizing taxation. It's because we need to optimize taxation, uh, uh, tax instruments. And we need to come up and develop the family of instruments in the domestic resource mobilization space to improve our revenue, uh, our revenue base. But then coming back to you, I remember the, the last time I visited this issue was 2001. I was analyzing how to optimize uh, taxation on excisable products, and one of them was alcohol. And I showed that you can actually optimize it by knowing that if you go, every tax system has a lava curve. You can actually optimize if you know exactly the demand structure of the product. So our tax system, uh, and, and even tax instruments can be optimized on the basis of the structure of the targeted product that, that they, are, they are getting. And that is in, consistent with the question that uh, was asked by um, Buana Rukaria. It, it means we can build the, the base. And finally, in this space, uh, Bonambaya and uh, the questions that have been raised, I do believe that we have succeeded in the digital evolution. We have taken part in that. The digital evolution has worked for us. Everybody is now talking about the fourth industrial revolution. The beauty about it is that it is going to coordinate all the other factors that I've mentioned. The, the, the protecting uh, the private investment, protecting, developing, protecting and regulating markets, domestic resource mobilization will be coordinated by the digital space and the fourth industrial revolution. We are going to see a lot of that. These issues need not wait for us to resolve the crisis. They will start in earnest. But let me tell you, 
that if they are going to spin the economy and we are going to see a lot of benefits. That means that I have also looked at the issues, Mohesh uh, Mwarukaria, you have mentioned. Thank you very much. And the most important thing is to make sure that, that I'm not going back to the history of creating social contracts. I'm in the, in the, in the quad, uh, quadrant of saying, actually you can raise incentives for you paying taxes if taxes are not high enough for you to dodge them. You know, the other day, Mr. Chairman, I asked the KRA, why do you believe that high tax rates will give you high tax revenue, Wherever, whereas the whole world knows that that's the converse? And we are back to the question that is being raised. Let's look at every tax instrument in terms of how we can optimize it. And uh, uh, thank you very much for your questions. The economic situation is terrifying. The, three, the four issues that I have identified are very, very important for us to turn around. But we turn around with also two very important points. One of them is actually how to strengthen our institutions. Be they the institutions that regulate the market, the institutions that protect the market. There are two very important characteristics of institutions that I work for and I really like to achieve. One of them is to define the legal, the, the legal framework or the, game, the rules of the game. And the second one is actually to define appropriate incentives. And a combination of the legal framework and uh, appropriate incentives, that is the reward system, you are rewarded when you do well, you are penalized when you do badly. It's, it's consistent with the issues that Buhajmi uh, uh, Junet, uh, Junet was raising and Buhana uh, uh, and, uh, then you're going to encourage prudent behavior in the marketplace. This is where we are, and that is how things will work, and will work positively. I do believe that some of these are medium-term solutions, but most of them are short-term. We start now in creating a, a very important base, and we'll get there. So thank you very much, Chairman.